What's up YouTube? It's your homeboy Lee Sean Anderson and I'm back with another video reaction and it's Saturday so you know what that means. D'Angelo sing that song for me please. Saturday Smile. This video um it's so funny because I'm reacting to a video from Zach Fox. Um I played like two of his songs. I thought this dude was a rapper. So I remember reacting to two of his songs, right? And uh, they were so outlandish and so crazy. I was like, man, this dude gotta be a comedian, man. Cause ain't no way he's just out here trying to just make these struggle bars. <laughs> he gotta be a comedian. And somebody in the comments was like, yeah, he's actually a comedian. And, uh, I typed him, uh, typed Zach Fox stand up, and this was the first video that popped up. And it's titled, Proof That White People Aren't the Master Race. <laughs> and I'm only laughing because it's like, yo, if you hear his songs, you already know how outlandish this dude is, right? And if you even heard of this dude, you probably already know how outlandish he is. So with a title like that, you wouldn't even be shocked in all. You would be like, yep, that's that's this brother being this brother. <laughs> so uh, let's check this out, man. Like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Everybody having a good year? How's your year going? Good? good? I'm having a great fucking year, nigga. This shit is amazing. I'm in a beautiful relationship. Everything's going cool. Opportunities. I'm getting money, nigga. Don't, don't. Don't clap too much. I'm not getting like that much money, <laughs> but I'm getting a really good amount of money. It's great. It's awesome. Like a great amount of money. Like I'm getting money right now that if like I found out that a girl was pregnant and I really didn't want to hang out with the nigga, I'd be like, what's your Venmo? Like, here's all the child support. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I can be a very financially responsible deadbeat dad right now. Like that's where I'm at. And at that point, you're not even a deadbeat dad because you're giving the nigga money. I'm more like a free range father at this point. You know Why are you calling the baby the nigga though? I'm still helping the nigga. <laughs> no, I'm not showing up to graduation, but that nigga got on Yeezys though, don't he? That's me. That's the Yeezys. I did that. And that's okay. That's what success means to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I, some of y'all turning your nose up, but fuck you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Every single one of you know that fathers are obsolete now because of the internet. And I would be giving this kid all the money that he needs. I would give him all the money. I would. All the money that he needs, all the access, the resources that he needs. So then he can get some good ass Wi-Fi, a real good ass, a good ass laptop and go on YouTube and look up a tutorial of a nigga teaching him how to shave. Because I'm not finna do that shit, nigga. So. He dirty. And since I'm not around. He will always take my absence as like, oh, I gotta get successful, and become better than him. So he's gonna focus. He's gonna, he's gonna read. He's gonna analyze shit. He's gonna become friends with amazing artists and designers and producers. And one day he's gonna make music, and that shit's gonna be fucking beautiful, bro. And I'm gonna be at home with my Nintendo Switch and my curved flat screen TV with my Beats by Dre headphones. I'm gonna be listening to that nigga like, you're welcome, bro. Welcome. You ain't right. <laughs> you ain't right. Here's what kind of money I'm getting. <laughs> the other the other night, me and my girlfriend were having sex, and I was eating her ass, as one does, as one will, you know? And when I was done, she said, okay, my turn. And I was like, oh, nigga, I'm balling. Like, I... <laughs> Like, that's how I got it. When I was broke and homeless, nobody asked to eat my ass. And <laughs> good for them. That's fucking disgusting. I've been marinating in poverty all day, nigga. Y'all know what <laughs> this shit was. This is a no fly zone, nigga. Like, yellow tape. Like, it was a murder. Fuck that. You put your face down there, you're going to look like a Chernobyl survivor. <laughs> nah, nah. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, that's oh. funny. Oh, nigga, but I'm making six figures. There's peace in the region now. Like, it's cool. You can go down there. <laughs> <laughs> so she did it, and it was cool. At first. At first. At first, it was cool. But halfway through the shit, 
I realized that she's lifting my legs up in the air. And I was like, oh, nigga, I'm just getting my pussy ate now. Like, this ain't not what I signed up for. What the fuck is this? Is this how women always feel? Just like turtles on their back in traffic? Like, like oh, oh. <laughs> terrible. And I shut the whole shit down. With... <laughs> she took both my feet and held them in one hand and went, ah. Wow. Like, this bitch done lost her goddamn mind. No, get off me. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I started a whole argument. Now I'm standing up in the room with my masculinity challenge and she, she's like, what's wrong? I was like, this is gay. She was like, no, it's not. She was right. It wasn't gay. I just felt weird and insecure. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, well, well, what do you want? How do you, like, I'll fix it. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I love her. She's so cool, you know? And I was like, man, eat my ass while I stand up like a real nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in the crowd said, wow. <laughs> I was trying to do, like, real masculine shit while she was doing it. I was smoking a menthol cigarette. I was watching Deadliest Catch on the TV. I was like, oh, that's a deadly ass catch, nigga. <laughs> and that's just love. That's just. This is crazy, crazy, man. What that is, man. <laughs> I love that I'm in a relationship, man. I get to do all that freaky shit that, you know, you don't really get to do when you're single because you build this trust. You build this bond, you know what I mean? When I'm single, man, I'm just a piece of shit. I don't know what the fuck is going on. You know, because. The outside world is scary, man. It's really scary being an American. Just going outside now is an extreme sport in this motherfucker. Like, Especially I'm serious, now. man. You got to have somebody that you love that's your unit. Because, man, just the outside world is terrible. You know? All these shootings and shit. Oh, it's so hard to fathom and to see this shit. And on top of that, like, I don't understand the language around these shootings. Because when the shit happens, like, why do we make the shit sound low-key tight? And before you judge what I'm saying, just just listen. Just look, shut the fuck up and listen. <laughs> That's probably the same guy saying, "Wow." Just the language that we use. Like when somebody go shoot some shit up, what we call them, an active shooter. I don't know about you, but that shit rolls off the tongue a little bit too well. It sounds kind of tight, you know what I mean? Like if it wasn't already taken, active shooter would be my rap name. I shit you not. It sounds too cool, and it's low key insulting to the rest of us. And, y and people don't even see it. The media doesn't even see it. When you call somebody an active shooter, it implies that the rest of us are just inactive shooters, nigga. And that's... Why are you making fun of me for not having an AK-47? This shit is so weird. It's like we wake up every day in America and the whole country's like, nigga, is you shooting or not? Is you shooting or not? Is you shooting or not, nigga? Shooting or not, nigga? <laughs> you looking real inactive. That nigga right there, he got active, though. You looking real inactive. You must be a bitch-ass nigga. What? I miss the good old days, man, when we called these sick little motherfuckers exactly what they are. Eminem fans. You know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. We all know it goes back to white supremacy and all that shit. Right? I get it, man. This shit, I just don't. Why be a white supremacist? Like, why, bro? Just... Like, why can't we all just understand that no, none of us are the best? We're all weird and funny and have our little weird shit that we do as races. You know what I'm saying? Asians be running in the airport. Like, <laughs> get there early. You know who you are. Like, you know, Mexicans got reggaeton. That's hilarious. Like, black people, yeah, we might wild the fuck out about a chicken sandwich, but nigga, it was good. Like, <laughs> you would too. Everybody's got their weird little, you know, fragility. So to be a white supremacist, I'm like, man, what's wrong with you, bro? Like, y'all are not the best. You know what I mean? If y'all are the best, explain the Black Plague, nigga. Explain that. <laughs> y'all whole race almost got wiped out by a rat with a cough, nigga? Come on, that's not... <laughs> Dirty. Literally. A, a little cute-ass rat one day was just like, it's you. <laughs> and millions just... <laughs> <laughs> Dead. I'm a cute ass rat, nigga. He was just like, what did I do? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm 
Dude, <laughs> niggas is like, I am the master race. Like, nigga, shut up before I take your ass to Chuck E. Cheese and deal with you. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, nigga. Come on, man. Everybody got to admit, you know? Admit your faults. White people, y'all are fragile. Just admit it. Own that shit. You know? White people are the only race on earth that die on vacation. Like, think about this. <laughs> <laughs> How? How? That's supposed to be fun. <laughs> and it's never just like some regular shit. Like, y'all go to places and have like Looney Tune deaths, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, a piano fell on Jan and can't go, nigga. Like, <laughs> Yo, from what? Like, <laughs> it's always some weird shit. It's never normal. White people leave the country and die like Sims characters. It's just... <laughs> what? Bro, where's Phil? Oh, Phil died, man. What? What, what happened to Phil? That nigga got his ass ate by a gorilla. <laughs> what? What? He got his ass... Yeah, he got his ass ate by a gorilla, nigga. Yeah, and they said the worst part was halfway through the gorilla started lifting his legs up in the air. <laughs> both his feet were... Ah! Yeah, man, this was funny, man. This was, I enjoyed this a lot. Yeah, the Black Plague, man. Some bad times over there in Europe. Boy, man, I tell you. I said that like I was there and <laughs> witnessed it, but uh, <laughs> that's all we talked about in history class. But uh, anyway, it's going to do it with this video. Like, comment, and subscribe if there's any other videos you want me to react to. Let me know in the comments below, all right? You be well out there. Drink lots of water. Take care of your body. I'm out. Deuce, deuce.